and we should be coming in. Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Today is April 27th, 2020, and we're doing an open discussion on current events, news, politics, economics, and more. And we've done a few of these over the last uh, couple of years. Uh, and what we're going to do is basically wait until people roll in and uh, we'll see where the conversation takes us. And uh, while we wait until the notifications go out, um, just to let you know, I am on Patreon and that's where I'm sharing my vision uh, information when we load up content online, if we're sharing pictures and other bits of information. Patreon is going to be where I'm going to be mainly staying active, sharing as much as I can. Uh, thanks in huge part to the people that are supporting us through Patreon. And if you can afford to support this project, Patreon is a fantastic way to support this project. And you can also follow and get updates of any posts that I do end up making. And uh, that should keep you up to date as to what we've been up to and what my uh, or our goals are we are live streaming this on twitch if you want to follow these live streams as they're happening and participate in the chat uh, twitch is where you want to be at okay and subscribing and following through twitch is also a fantastic way to support this project i am announcing these streams as well as other bits of information on Twitter, Gabs, Minds, VK, and Elo. And all the links will be in the description of this video. Hello, Nate. Good evening. How are you doing? Good afternoon for my part, anyway. I am uploading these to BitChute and YouTube right now, as much as I can on both platforms. Uh, technical difficulties permitting and censorship, uh, us being able to bypass the censorships. Uh, right on you should know which platforms we're talking about Zimmy how are you doing welcome welcome to another live stream I'm assuming the notifications went out okay and we are coming towards the end of the first wave of a pandemic that has uh, uh, occupied many people's minds even if th there's going to be uh, supposedly uh, government centralized power trying to get things back into business as usual we should all be aware that business is not as usual and it will probably not not go back to as usual uh, for quite some time so be aware of what's taking place and uh, if you do see the wave uh, a bigger wave or the same wave turning around and coming back in your area make sure you're taking care of your healthcare workers and uh, you are taking care and being kind aside from that gang welcome to the live stream that's my speedy gonzalez uh, introduction uh, because there is a lot going on there's a lot of discussion to be had and uh, these intros are mainly for people who are watching these after the live stream after the fact uh, so they know where to find us and whatnot uh, this is a great wall to kill a uh, way to kill some uh, downtime on my on-call evening shift at the hospital oh nate you're at the hospital uh, i hope things are well brown a7 evening chicho evening evening brown good afternoon brown hello chicho i love spider-man i chat Martin, how are you doing? Uh, Ding Bobber, hey Chicho, today I saw a video of someone interviewing lockdown protesters in the States. Very disturbing. A lot of conspiracy theorists and patriots. One man even asked someone to cough on him. There's a lot of idiocy in the world right now, Ding Bot. We're seeing the uh, shit rise to the top, right? <laughs> on every level, on every discipline on in every community in everywhere around the world you're seeing a lot of crap rise up into the world right now right that's not gonna last they're sound bites right let let that just filter through uh what comes what's going to be rolled out in the next few years is is the key 
in the next few months in the next few weeks right but a lot of people that are uh, participating in uh, in I forget all what all the terms are for is it astroturfing is centralized power uh, uh, funding organizations that are supposed to be grass they're they're portraying themselves as grassroots but they're not really grassroots they're just uh, powers uh, playing right manipulating controlling i'll be lurking okay spider-man but don't worry trolls my ass on peel nice we're seeing the shit rise to the top i couldn't have said it better yeah that's what's happening absurdicon right most of the idiocy is concentrated in the u.s it seems oh not necessarily uh zookeeper i think maybe you're seeing that because we're like i'm in canada you i'm not sure if you're in the states or not but we're in the west we're seeing ridiculousness hit certain places right and the media amplifies that right really the media really amplifies that how many how many how many people do you think actually in the united states live in the united states that would be like the person that uh uh, who was it that said that uh, ding bobber that someone would come and say cough on me like there aren't too many but the media focuses on that right they it's like all the uh, FBI arrests not all of them but 99.9% .9 of the FBI arrests that are supposed to be terrorist related for the last 20 years 19 years since the Patriot Act passed most of them were basically the FBI finding idiots some of them serious uh trauma mental issues physical like all kinds of issues right people who need help they find them and then they trick them into doing things that they want them to do so they could arrest them and get some statistics and get more funding from it's all that that we're seeing what we need to do is turn the boob tube the corporate propagandist off like really consume nothing from them other than uh things criticizing or pointing out how much bs they're pushing right and we need to focus on what's really going on right important <laughs> doesn't need float uh things are looking relatively good on the icu here uh we are seeing a steady decline of COVID patients intubated yeah nice nate that's good yeah from what i understand there's uh this waves pass passing by in certain places it might do a boof, you know like waves do they hit a barrier and they come back waves do this right so we'll see what happens right you once said some wise words quote regardless of what you believe even if there is a, a minute percent chance of coronavirus being as serious as people say you're a fool to gamble 100 percent uh, thing well where that's the one thing I see, I'm seeing right people are so attached to their beliefs they refuse to accept possibilities right like possibilities have disappeared from the from some people's some movements uh, psyche right they all of a sudden say no this is the only thing that exists and this is the only thing that could be right as if they know everything there is like as if they're part of the conspiracy as if they're part of the if they believe these organizations are certain organizations and there are organizations that are orchestrating certain events right as if they know every minute detail of the plan that all of these organizations whoever they might be have for them it's it's ridiculous right like science is not that absolute good afternoon good folks catholic traditionalists hello hello current event stream huh? like anything is happening right now like anything coolio is there anything happening <laughs> heavy topics just pop by to say hello nikki hickey how are you doing heavy topics listen to the sets your partner stuff uh got to me some nice awesome nikki hickey i'm gonna be by the way the dj set that we did and what what you see be, behind you is we had a six and a half hour dj live stream set with four different djs we we're just hosting them on 
our Twitch page, right? So if you're watching this on another platform, on our Twitch page, we're hosting a six and a half hour DJ set. And what you see behind me is my partner's set that she started it was a two hour uh, deep house, uh, lo-fi, people are calling it different things, right? Uh, set that she did. So that's what we're doing this stream in front of. But I decided because uh, the recorded version of Twitch didn't uh, censor out uh, because of copyright stuff any of the parts of the whole set the two hour set so I'm assuming Amazon and YouTube are sort of using the same database in terms of copyright infringement stuff they block things out so since Twitch didn't block anything out I'm gonna load the set on YouTube as well okay and we'll see where it goes if you followed my work for since 2007 2008 you'll know i have i went to a festival for four years and two years i videotape uh djs playing electric uh, uh, electronic music right so there's a whole bunch of videos that we have on our music folder that has a whole bunch of djs playing so i wouldn't mind adding this to the playlist as well right um because it was a beautiful set it was a beautiful set so long long intro we're gonna see the the dj set uploaded to youtube most likely tomorrow okay and we'll premiere it huckleberry chicho what are your thoughts on trump telling americans to shoot up bleach to curve the way uh, dude i don't listen to trump i don't listen to corporate propaganda the only thing that's hit me regarding what trump said and detergents and this is the noise from the corporate propagandists right it it's completely irrelevant like that's someone releasing gas and the other side saying look look the guy farted <laughs> this guy saying oh no no i didn't fart i was just joking and that's that's what i've heard that's that's the that's the level of intellectual conversation that's coming towards me regarding that right so i really don't pay heed to it i don't doesn't it doesn't even matter this is the most i've thought about it <laughs> how do you like my analogy <laughs> by the way gang got uh, crab apple liqueur on the rocks no soda club crab apple liqueur on the rocks it's delicious and my partner she she knew my schedule i'm doing a live set so she made me a a snack treat and she's got a little heart there in the middle <laughs> okay cheese uh cucumbers some cd toasted bread and uh radishes nice thanks <laughs> and i got some tea okay yeah i'm outside chicago uh zookeeper yes the media does do that the problem is that is the loud voices are often heard over the majority of uh majority of voices uh, for sure uh zookeeper okay 100 percent. right now the loud voices are being heard but they don't last long we're here for the long haul the loud noises those are just blips sound bites right because the corporate propagandists really don't have a long they don't they don't show you the grand design the big picture they're they're operating their business model is noise right so what we need to do is shift ourselves away from the high frequency noise and take a look at the big picture like because it's basically think about a sine wave or math wave right here's the big wave right and those guys are this they're doing a little sound bites here we'll do it this way now i get dizzy flying on this I, I like to do this right they don't last long the noise doesn't last long right all those people yelling you yolo <laughs> they bite the dust in their 20s right what's good chicho slept well yeah not bad not bad like life is keeping me excited right Nate, love the 420 stream by the way nice i have a feeling it's going to blow up in the asmr community you think so i don't know we'll see if youtube allows it to blow up <laughs> 
<laughs> maybe not maybe not uh, but that is the algorithm youtube is running right we'll see where it goes it was great we're gonna do one of those every year and by the way in 2019 we did a 420 stream as well but i didn't load it on youtube it's only available on bitshoot okay <laughs> i i didn't load that one up on youtube just because maybe we talked some sensitive stuff and at the time the sensors were kicking in hardcore and i just didn't want to even bother with it but the 2021 why not why not people don't know the power of i don't know i don't yeah that's the kicker right coolio have you seen run the jewels uh new music video no coolio uh it's set uh setting is a party after all the greed and corruption in the world has ended everyone's dancing and burning money in the streets no i haven't seen it i don't even know uh jewels i don't i don't think i know jewels sorry <laughs> Love me some. run the jewels maybe i do it's just the name's not going to ring a bell beautiful plate uh plate life behind you uh plant life behind you brother thank you Thank you, Nikki. This is the this is what we had for the DJ set. She was playing right here, right? Awesome. The DJ party was dope. Just had to say that. Nice. Manatras too. Thank you. Everybody had a fantastic time, and people want to do again, and we will. I was lucky enough to see see, see them live twice. So good, really. Nice, nice. If you like Three Six Mafia, uh, you might like rtj rtj i'll send a youtube link awesome that'd be great huckleberry and if you like three six mafia spm south park mexican i love rtj i've seen them live twice ah oh, nice i gotta check this out i'm sure do, 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 do. okay i'm gonna scroll oh wow okay i'm gonna scroll down there's a couple of chichos so if um if there's anything directed towards me please let me know Traswell, hey Chicho and chat. I'm gonna lurk as I work. Looking forward to listening to the discussion. Awesome. Uh, thanks for popping in. Yo, let's go, Void. How's it going? Anybody I missed? Liquid Source, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. People, 2,274 people have passed away in Sweden from the virus. That's a lot compared to Norway, Denmark, Finland, who has, yeah, that's respectfully. We unfortunately, uh reacted too late yeah liquid source here's the kicker regarding the data and we're not going to do any more data up updates uh for covid we have enough data to do a small little intro uh asmr math uh module as a not the whole module but the intro module to statistics uh using some of that data and the data as far as i'm concerned is flawed and so i don't i don't like chasing flawed data or working with flawed data right but here's a kicker with sweden right right now relative to its neighbors sweden has a lot more reported deaths from COVID, right so people who are saying oh it should have been lockdown are using sweden as an example of why they should have gone into lockdown or quarantine mode at the same time <laughs> people who are against quarantine lockdown or using sweden as an example of how why the quarantine lockdown work not having quarantine lockdown work perfectly because sweden's fine all the shops are still open and stuff like this so the same data really this is unbelievable right like you you listen to the discussion people are living in such bubbles that they can't even see that the same data the same country same numbers same event same time period right are being used with two people two groups not people but two groups on two on a, on a spectrum of mindset being extreme on both sides saying this or this they're not thinking a spectrum there are maybes involved in this right it's incredible the dialogue going on right now in the world it's on the level of the word we're not allowed to use on twitch <laughs> like i've never seen the world be so this level this word we can't use on twitch 
OK， trans world， 地球超人之类。Oh yeah, okay. Good, good, good. I'm gonna go scroll down.、Uh, I love Spiderman.、Uh, kind of off topic, but the the CARES Act got approved, and a guy who is a billionaire and owns a ranch applied for it. It's supposed to be for small businesses. Instead of paying his workers with the billions he has, he got approved for the act and got four million dollars. <laughs> Ridiculous. The Spiderman. This isn't off topic. This is a hundred percent on topic. That's that's the ridiculousness of what's taking place. We have to remove ourselves from that and take a look at things, right? You realize, wow, this is insane, right? Not, not, not the actual event that's occurring, but the reaction to the event, right? The reaction to what has transpired is absolutely off the. Like it, it's crazy, right? And then we lift ourselves higher, right? And take a look at the big picture, and go, wow! And then you realize, I am actually a free human being that has thought, that has ideas, that sees the big picture. Oh my God! There are so many of my brothers and sisters. Caught up in the noise and going insane. So what are you gonna do? Are you gonna take advantage of all these people going absolutely insane and losing their minds, or are you gonna try to shine a little light, bring a little calm, right? Because this tends to, if there's a lot of them, resonate and create bigger waves, right? And that, no matter where you are, wherever you think you're safe from whatever is happening, that might hit you as well. So, really, I I can't even explain what、uh, what level we're on right now.、It、looks like a lot of people run the jewels. I don't know run the jewels. You gotta link that up for me, Coolio. Seems like I'm missing out some amazing music here. What's going on? <laughs> How come? How come? No one shared "Run the Jewels" in Discord chat. Immortal technique rocks, man. Jedi mind tricks as well. Gangstar, one hundred percent. Oh, I got some rap. Nice. So, "Run the Jewels" is、uh, hip hop rap. Chicho, you are like safe shores after sailing on the ocean of conspiracy theories for too long. Thing bobber, that's probably because I've I've followed that stuff for thirty years at least. I don't trust、uh, any YouTuber leftist to be honest, or like the Young Turks. Oh, Young Turks is just pure garbage. They were garbage pre two thousand and sixteen, but they just like two th like basically from the first like it. They were garbage. They were, their their garbage was was sh like stinking up half the internet within three months of three months of them going live, right? Just pure good. The only good thing that came out of crap and you know a good dump、uh, does feel good. Something comes good out of that, right? The only good thing that came out of that was Jimmy Dory, right? That's it. Everything else, flush it down the toilet. That stuff is poison. Metstun in Romania, Chicho Silb, Silb. How are you doing, Metstun in Romania? This, the studying year has been stopped. It's an option to the colleges to repeat it or do online. I'm, oh, dude, that sucks. Lark, how are you doing? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Ah,、uh, busy Freeman. When you say so many people. Had died. Don't you have to do a per capita division? Those places do not have the same amount of people, aka population. Yeah, and you can do the comparison,、uh, Busy Freeman. Exactly. Do the comparison per capita. But Sweden and Norway per capita is about, and Finland and Denmark.、Uh, Denmark is higher, I believe. But Finland, Norway, and Sweden. I didn't look at it too deeply because I don't trust the data, right? I'm not going to waste my time and looking at the data. All I'm doing is taking a look at it and saying, "Oh wow, the same, <laughs> the same thing." 
is being used like I, I can't even use a prop it's, it's the same thing being used by the two extremes to try to prove their point but how is that even possible right like how is that even possible vagabond hello hello how are you doing alexo how are you doing how's life i'm just scrolling down uh just trying to see i'm all the way down to the bottom gang cool v violent by design is an insane album musically it's so beautiful oh who's violent by design gang please post this on discord definitely my favorite jmt project jmt project what's a jmt project <laughs> I'm aching for some awesome music. I'm listening to it as well, obviously, right? But I want power, uh, right? Wow, the lighting is superb. Nice, sass, thank you. I keep having to remember to open my window blinds. It improves my mood immensely. Hmm. I need more plants in my house. Everybody needs more plants in their house. Even I need more plants in my house yes thank you a lot of music is toxic and vile yeah hey there magus how are you doing good afternoon good afternoon chicho thank you for doing the stream now it's 23 25 here okay so you're 11 30 11 25 good good i'll i'll try to do earlier political and stuff streams as well for youtube for for youtube for, for uh european uh friends and followers and people who want to participate in discussion so it's a little earlier i know a lot of people are missing out in europe when i do the discussions later in the evening the two extreme points to a middle path most of the time the charts are now morphing into flu-like viruses in the uh, in the meetings instead of COVID uh, specific yeah the kicker is do we trust the data how it's being collected uh what's going on i don't like really uh, the testing the like i really don't trust the data anymore right i locked up oh jedi mind tricks jmt jedi mind tricks rocks man how did i not recognize the name of the album wait a second violent by design what am i dingling yeah violent by design i haven't listened to jedi mind tricks for a while i was listening to them as they were coming out so 15 to 20 years ago right jedi mind tricks rocks man same level as immortal technique they did a lot of work together actually right thank you for that liquid swords by the way eduardo hello chicho yeah have you ever stumbled upon nardwar yeah uh, eduardo in high school me and nardwar were in the same class i consider him a friend we're friends we hung out a little bit there was a time <laughs> i'll tell you a story me and nardwar were we're in vancouver we went on a school field trip we we're in track and field team together we went to salem oregon and we bought <laughs> paper uh, those things you can buy like one dollar paper uh bamboo wooden things you buy that you put them together and you woo, throw them when they fly we bought a bunch of those we put them together we set them on fire and we threw them around so we had paper planes on fire in at like 11 o'clock 12 o'clock at night or whatever it was 10 o'clock i can't remember time it was past curfew when we got back we we're in deep deep trouble right they they threatened to th send us back to vancouver from salem oregon we had planes that were burning flying in the park <laughs> We had some guy run up to us and go, oh, man, acid trip. I remember acid. We're like, dude, we're not. We're just having a good time. Like, take it easy. He was like, oh, it was fun. Nardwar is an amazing uh, person, by the way. He's he's legit. The guy is 100% real, right? What is a good house plant? Low maintenance, jade. These guys. jade i can't eat this but low maintenance be careful this is a jade jade plant and chinese uh, asian consider this to be lucky plant right i for me i just like it but as soon as you cut off a leaf right put it in the put it in the soil it'll grow roots and you can plant it and it'll grow so jade 
is um what do you call it uh, uh oh i forget the term for it it's not a cactus it's a it's a it's from the cactus i forget what it's called print no i don't know what it's called uh but this thing it grows slow but because every leaf that falls and even branches fall they can grow roots and grow and i just don't like throwing plants away right so whenever i saw roots growing i plant them so i have a lot of jade right. and you can just throw in the pot and it'll grow again so those things were just shoots of plants right chicho i am looking uh, for alternative ways to generate income because i am out of work my friend does forex trading and recommended it what do you think of forex trading i literally know zero about it uh, don't do it sleepy waves if you're trying to generate income that means you don't have a huge buffer right you don't have a huge amount of supply to last you through not working right so that means money's tight if money's tight you'd be crazy to go into forex trading you'd be crazy to go into any type of gambling name of the game when it comes to gambling and forex trading is gambling right you need a float you need a legit float and not just a float for one day right you need a float for multiple days and you have to set the limit and stuff like this right think about it as like not think about it it is straight up gambling so if you're tight on money that's your rent money that's your food money you don't go gambling with your rent money your food money that's that's crazy don't do it right that's my advice sure you can make money but you're gambling just know this you're gambling right stabilize yourself first right do you think the emphasis on community ties during this time if quarantine conditions were extended for more than six months would lead, lead to long-term changes in how we view, view uh distributing aid resources uh jet is next i think i don't think we need it for another six months i think it's there now i think that has kicked into gear right i think we're about to see a huge wave of community uh community projects kicking in i think we're about to see people realizing what food security means so starting to think about growing food more locally i think a lot of decentralization the the seed has now been planted in terms of supply chain and where your products are coming from and who these corporations are that you're working for and stuff like this i think we're there already the seed has been planted all we got to do is nurture it just like plants it's there it's rooting right we got to give it food we got to give it water give it a, a lot of light right that's why censor censorship is horrendous right so we have to prevent censorship because if you're if centralized power starts saying no you can't do this you can't do this censorship censorship then we can't grow right so we need to have open free flow of information and we're going to nurture what has been planted right now okay hence these live streams i'll do my part i'll you know i'll do my best and i'll do my part what she chose a friend i'm not <laughs> this is insane <laughs> yeah like with climate change okay i'm gonna scroll down gang there's a couple of chicho uh so how does he get his info i mean narwar research work the guy works his ass off dude like seriously like people like for me like what you see here what I, what i do the videos i put out there that's a lot of work like i can't explain to to people if you see someone creating consistent content having a vision having a, a theme an idea that hasn't changed like they, they stay true to their word to to their cause that has taken a lot of work some of you that have been following my work you know this right 850 plus videos out right nardwar is the same why do you think we were friends right? <laughs> or we are friends? why do you think we understood each other right because we had that mindset as we were youth you could see it there right and narwar dude the guy puts in research 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 and he made it a lifestyle it, he's what he is doing is what he loves right when you love something you do you put your heart and soul into it because it's 
your life that is your life right that's the way i regard my work that's the way nardwar regards his work right how does he do it man hours upon hours upon hours upon days upon weeks upon months upon years of persistent just hard hard work period succulent cheryl thank you jade is a succulent okay succulents are the easiest plants to grow get some aloe as well aloe is fantastic unfortunately our aloe last year got hit by by bugs we had a, three of them and we had to get rid of them because you you would have contamination right we quarantined them didn't work and we got rid of them very very relevant to our present day situation right unfortunately they died right so we need to get some succulents okay i think aloe is a succulent as well hydra nate uh chicho we can now interview nardwar and confront him with insanely specific detailed questions about his life and name high school years <laughs> nice you guys have something pass this on to whoever is interviewing him or whoever he's interviewing and tell them to pass that story on to them and see if he remembers ask them if he remembers <laughs> and what happened afterwards <laughs> we broke curfew we got back to the hotel late right the teachers were not pleased but if they only saw those wooden planes burning and flying in the park they would have appreciated it right jade is a succulent that's a swedish term for it i believe oh swedish really i didn't know that okay i went all the way down gang oh hold on i'm gonna read something about the young turks sass i think the young turks certainly have an agenda but let's make sure not to equate them with places that create the facade of being unbiased or having no agenda fox news uh i th i consider the young turks on the same level as uh bite bart the same level right different color different place right they're they're about the same to me I don't I don't really read news from either <laughs> like not that they don't publish legit information but there's an agenda there's a propaganda I'm, I can get that same legit information off my other sources because if it's legit I already have the other sources that are sharing legit info I don't need the noise noise you don't need the noise why to go to go to those places that supply the noise with a little bit of a legit information right just go to the legit information filter out the noise a good plan for low light jade is not bad for low light it's a succulent i know but it can still grow under low light uh fern is okay under low light right these big leaf plants they're, they're okay for low light so anything with a big leaf because they're they're basically used to growing under the canopy in a forest so they don't get as much light right uh what else uh, spider plants are good for low light they grow much better and all these plants grow, grow much better in lots of light or some burn under lights light so you don't you know it, it depends but uh i have a lot of plants that are under low light as well right did you say you and narbar ran track together yeah we were in track and field what events did you do we did different he he did more long distance i was short i was sprints do you have the salvia Sa savila aloe uh, we lost our uh, all our aloes elmo elmiro el humiro el humiro i'm sorry if i'm brutalizing your name brother i know you come here so often uh miro i always gotta remember uh what i'm referring to who uh a jordanian big businessman says that coronavirus was an excuse to lower oil prices and the price of oil is not dependent on supply and demand but a simple input by top people rubbish or possible but simple input by top people well there are cartels and different different governments and institutions that control oil prices there's no doubt there's multiple factors in the 
price of oil at playing the price of oil sure the economy going belly up tit up like uh just crunching to a grind has a lot to do with it uh, oil uh being pumped like mad has a lot to do with it but over over um production has a lot to do with it on that front lowering it right but raising it up the reason sometimes it goes really high is because there's sanctions on two of the largest producers of oil in the world venezuela and iran why do you think one of the reasons is that the united states has tried to strangle venezuela and iran do people really believe in in the united states is it about socialism which is about what it, it's not it's, it's not that idea venezuela has the largest oil deposits in the world if they start pumping the way they could start pumping what's going to happen to the shale gas industry in the united states put that together with and canada and uk and different parts of the world put together that together with iran iran is like the third or fourth largest oil producer in the world so first the top uh not oil producer saudi arabia still hits that but the largest oil reserve in the world which is venezuela and second or third maybe fourth at least the furthest down is fourth uh, uh oil and gas was a parse gas field in iran being under sanctions not able to sell their oil to the market that also raises the oil price so the oil price is not just oh they lowered it there's also factors involved in trying to raise it so it's a it's a game right it's it it it's just complete manipulation right which way always be making how are you doing sas thank you very much for the tier one sub i'm here in the background i am not feeling happy so i don't have a lot to say uh, always be making chill brother really uh if you're not feeling happy it means uh maybe the world's uh, the pressures are a little too much you need to vent a little bit and i'm in a mood to vent so i hope you appreciate me going a little hard uh hopefully that'll reduce your stress level right absurdicon chicho that's awesome i was a i was big on running in high school as well like narwa i was a distance runner i used to average five minutes to to a mile but that was uh, a long time ago wow that's good and i hope it's okay i'm pretty sure narwa doesn't he's he's all cool because he he finds things about people and shares them and stuff right and he's hardcore and he knows me so he knows it comes from a love so i hope it's okay sharing some of that info right i'm pretty sure he'd be cool with it <laughs> venezuela oil mostly heavy sure but what happens when venezuela starts pumping like mad the way they could what's that what's going to happen to the canadian tar sands canadian tar sands right now are trading at six dollars a barrel <laughs> and they want to build a what is it now 10 billion dollar pipeline to send six dollars a barrel oil to pray place how long is it going to stay low it's going to stay low for a long time man i some people say oh as soon as the economy picks up oil prices are going to go up do you think so how high are they going to go almost as heavy as the tar sands almost as heavy but not as heavy right why is that we're so poor now even though they have lots of because sanctions like if you can't you can't sell your product you're going to go like for example we people how many two billion people on a lockdown or quarantine right or one billion let's say i don't know what the numbers are we're into the billions right quarantine let's assume you guys haven't been allowed to work how's your money situation venezuela has been under sanctions obama kicked it up hardcore right the democrats and the republic they both loved it right it's not a it's not the republicans doing it or the democrats doing it it's, they're both doing it right why are they both doing it because they're both corrupt That's, right venezuela has been under sanctions americans haven't been allowed to work in certain states right for what two three four weeks now and they're into the streets boo boo we need to work venezuela has been under the whole country has been under sanctions for how much a decade now right there was a coup that the cia they tried to overthrow it in 2001 right that's why 
how many people filed for unemployment in the United States? They've <laughs> like sanctions. Sanctions has a huge role to play in it. Other factors as well, corruption and stuff like this. But dude, sanctions is huge. Sanctions is war. Man, I'm always in a mood uh, to vent lately. Coolio, yeah, venting is fun. Let's out a little stress, right? Uh, da -da 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 -da. When I try to have conversations about alter alternatives to capitalism, they always talk about Venezuela and how it failed because of socialism. Yeah, pe th those are uneducated people, right? Which is so far from the truth that have nearly given up trying to explain why it's untrue to people. Yeah, those people, you just have to say, look, man, you're, you're not educated enough to talk about these things, right? I'm sorry, you need to educate yourself a little bit further before we can talk. It's like me if you but this is what i say it's like me trying to explain to someone what you know two minus negative five is when they don't even know what a negative number is like you can't ex you can't go to that level right have anyone here looked into the claims made by uh made regarding oil not being as fine and as popular yeah yeah i have uh nikki are you talking about the the original oil being really below the mantle and is coming out and stuff uh popular the russian studies that came out a long time ago find a popular media uh once you be a chicho your geophysicist any thoughts i heard it on a podcast and they mentioned the book i think it's called black gold i don't know about that book maybe i know nothing about this yeah nikki um i believe this is a theory and i haven't looked into it too deep um my understanding is, is hydrocarbons if hydrocarbons then it is what it is that we're we know of right but the earth's been around for a long time and it's been layering and stuff like this and i know that things move the mantle is uh, malleable and stuff like this and is it is it possible that oil comes from a lot deeper from the mantle from oil leaking up into the crustal place and finding its way and it's way more abundant than we think it is possible uh, however is it going to be now i'm not saying it is or it isn't seriously i haven't looked into it deep enough but the question to me isn't if that is the true case or not the question is is it viscous is it heavy is it hard to process how much energy does it take to get a barrel of oil out as opposed to being near surface and easy to grab right like we have to use energy to get energy oil right so let's assume this is one barrel of oil in the past with liquid oil easy um liquid oil the i forget <laughs> man i'm a jew i shouldn't know these terms but i forget them right but basically oil that was near the surface easy to grab you know you would spend if you want to grab one barrel of oil you know you would spend a cup of oil to get one barrel of oil now it's increasing right at one point isn't it, it it becomes it doesn't become feasible to get a barrel of oil out is when it takes a barrel of oil to get a barrel of oil that's it the model collapses oil is not feasible right where are we right now i haven't looked into this for a while right and keep in mind it's not just energy that it takes to get energy right they have to burn oil machines have to work you got to transport it you got to refine it you have to burn oil to get a barrel of oil right where are we right now i know in the past it was a lot cheaper right now it's becoming more and more expensive and at some point it's like mining bitcoins right and at some point it's going to be at par right that means oil prices have to go up a lot right okay so we can go further oh it's got more more and more at some point it's just not feasible right you're not gonna <laughs> like if that's the case if we stick with the oil model then every, like this cup of tea will be how much in the future so we have to always keep that in mind how much energy what is what's it taking to produce this energy uh, and there's a lot more to it as well and it's not just oil energy that you're burning to get this how much water in the past it wasn't as much water maybe it was a barrel of water or two barrels of water to get a barrel of oil or 10 barrels of water to get a barrel of oil now 
the amount of water we have to use to get a barrel of oil is huge, right? And then put into that the refining stuff, the heavy stuff. It's just insane. Ten million dollar pipeline. Uh, you mean ten billion? Did I even say million? Oh yeah, my apologies. Billion. Yeah, I said the wrong word, right? It was estimated to be five billion or four billion, and then they came out and said they actually said it was going to be twelve billion. If I misspeak, please correct me for sure. Thank you, Racer Kill. I'm going to scroll down, gang. Certicon, uh, what do you mean by sanctions specifically? Specifically, they're not allowed to sell oil on the open market because they have to go through um, the uh, the SWIFT system to do the transactions. And oil is mainly sold in the U.S. dollars. It's, there's other currencies as well, right? So. The United States controls the Swiss system, so they can't sell their oil on the market. Absurdicon, they're under sanctions. They can't get uh, equipment, supplies to uh, fix things. It's under. It's it's it's, it's basically uh, a siege on Venezuela. It's a siege on Iran. That's warfare, right? And by the way, with all of the all of this happening south america is a hot spot for covid right and it could really get a, but venezuela is doing pretty damn good right relative to other countries venezuela under this conditions is doing way better than the united states is right so it's just absurd the whole thing's absurd uh sleepy ways can you explain why oil has dropped so drastically i still don't understand it they've been pumping like mad because once you put a hole into the ground and you start extracting out oil you can't just turn off the tap like your sink you can't just go oh okay we don't you know we don't need any more water we don't need any more just turn it off for now we'll come back when we're thirsty again you can't do that you have to keep the oil going otherwise problems with the machinery and the and the physics of it right fluid dynamics and stuff so they have to continuously pump okay they're pumping the world's not consuming as much so oil demand has collapsed the pumping has slowed down a little bit maybe maybe not but saudi arabia kicked up the pumping level <laughs> the level that the house of saud is about to go through a little turmoil right someone's head is about to go on a chopping block right so they kept on pumping like mad collapsed the oil so overproduction less demand they gotta put the stuff somewhere oh storage facilities are all full what are you going to do look at what happened sleepy ways look at what happened in the united states with the dairy farmers right they're producing a lot of milk every day right if you got a, if you got a dairy cow you got to milk him every day like otherwise they'll explode right they're producing milk right and the milk has to come out of the cow so they're pumping out the milk right oh the supply chain has broken so the demand is gone People aren't consuming as much milk because they can't get it from point A to point B, right? And things are closed, so there's less places to buy and whatnot, right? So people are consuming less milk, but these dairy farmers have to produce milk. They have cows. <laughs> the cows need to be milked. So they're producing, producing. They fill up their containers, storage tanks, and that has a lifespan. Oil doesn't, but that has a lifespan. So, okay. So they filled it up. Now the cow is still producing milk. What are they going to do to it? They've been dumping it down the toilet, right? Not down the toilet, but down the drain. They've been opening up the taps and letting milk just go into the drains because they can't get rid of it, right? They can't sell it. The same, the same model as oil, right? Dairy farmers in the United States and farmers in the United States have been telling people come and take the food is rotting in the fields right yeah uh nikki yeah i hear you about the oil being easy to grab thanks for the input to uh, input brother. my pleasure my pleasure how much are we oh okay i'm gonna go scroll uh, down i'm just gonna read stuff that says chicho on it uh, gang i traded in a mmrpg with an item which has uh, entered the game 15 years ago and since then it has no other source i have no idea what you're talking about the uh, slip so they are unique called rares okay they are expensive um ofc 
of course they are special of course after i got to the point trading them i noticed unlike the rest of the items in the game their person okay teams sell it to each other and the supply but actually by a specific group of people that make teams they sell it to each other and lower the prices at demand is this possible in real life uh, sib i lost you there i don't know what the you what these things are you're talking about i'm assuming it's a game thing so absurd account so venezuela should be one of the richest countries uh in the world due to the oil resources but because of u.s imperialism they're getting next to none of the profit that is sickening to me uh absurdicon i didn't say that i didn't say they should be one of the richest uh countries in the world look at nigeria nigeria has oil but it's not one of the richest countries in the world one of the thing one of the sayings within politics and geophysics and stuff like this is um they say that uh the population of a country are not blessed if they have a lot of resources okay they're cursed right because you have other people's oil that they want right as the saying goes you know all those memes you've seen with the united states waging war around the world saying hey why 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 is our oil in the middle east right because if you got resources countries want it look at bolivia bolivia has major resources that the united states wanted and there was a military coup there with a dictator put in power why because bolivia decided and nationalized was it so it's i didn't say venezuela should be a rich country uh, a lot of countries that have a lot of resources they're cursed okay so i'm just saying the sanctions has a lot to do with it as well right i'm going down i went all the way down to the bottom gang catch up i'm gonna have a cheese and a cheese and a toast and a cucumber cheese toast cucumber and a radish i'm making a sandwich well not a sandwich because it doesn't have bread on top i'm making a appetizer riot how are you doing what up chicho Hope you're doing well buddy thank you doing pretty well man enjoying a little venting if you can call it that i guess salute gang uh crab apple liqueur homemade why do people blame uh the dictatorship of, of venezuela first of all sleepy waves it's not a dictatorship contrary to what people in people who have been propagandized believe venezuela is not a dictatorship okay there are so many people that government doesn't help the chavatistas nationalized properties erratically and the dom domestic production of virtually everything crashed and so they have been um, forced importing that is what has been draining the economy multiplayer hater multiplayer hater okay <laughs> hopefully i did that right there is corruption there is no doubt however you have to put it into context for 20 years since chavez came into power okay initially the united states and the west had hoped that Chavez could be easily corrupted and pu push the neo neoconservative agenda, right? The neoliberal agenda of privatizing everything, but he didn't, right? So within a year, within a few months, it became obvious that Chavez was not going to neocon route. So the United States tried to overthrow him. So for the last 20 years, the deep state in the United States that hijacked US elections, that has been spewing garbage brainwashing and like it's in like I, do, I don't have to tell you what the deep state is in the united states they have been active in venezuela trying to destroy their economy and destroy their movement this isn't the chavatis does nationalize prop it's not that simple right it's not that simple what's going on with kim jong-un by the way i don't know has he passed away or are these just rumors i don't know it's north korea i've heard something about a 
heart surgery. I heard a stroke and he's not, he hasn't been seen public for a week or two weeks and trying to get, I don't know. It really doesn't, it's, uh, to me, that's sort of, you know, if it's true, then we'll see what happens. If it's not true, we'll see what happens. All right. What's your take on universal basic income? Now, when automation is taking over more aggressively, might be a bit off topic, but interesting. Not, it's not, first of all, uh, sun lull, uh, son laugh out loud uh, it's not off topic it's very on topic universal basic income is band-aid right but it is complete centralization of people's lives and down the road it's dystopian nightmare okay uh, not because the idea that a country or the world we should make sure that everyone's taken care of and all this jazz okay not because of that but because of centralization of power if universal basic income ubi is going to be rolled out it will be through multinational corporations in collaboration with centralized partisan bipartisan whatever you want to call it technocratic oligarchic run governments that are going to completely enslave the population and make sure that they control every aspect of their lives why because they control their money right done and what they'll do is eliminate cash and once they do that oh, that's it might as well pack uh, pack up your bags and hop on a ship and go somewhere that doesn't have ubi and still deals in cash and everything's not centralized and digitized because you lost your privacy you lost your anonymity and if you lose that you've lost your freedom okay i believe he's in a vegetative state hey, hey what's up you all corn pop how are you doing 10 by 10 kimmy jong <laughs> north korea previously covered up okay well i'm just gonna skip north korea Hello, Chicho and company. Lord, how are you doing? How's life? Sleepy wave. Hasn't uh, Maduro been in power for a while now? He's been in power since Chavez died. Was it? Was he murdered? I don't know, but died, right? Um, and he was elected by majority, right? Uh, there was a certain amount of uh, disruption. There were some, some people protesting and stuff like this, and legit, right? Uh, but it got hijacked, right? The Norwegian state takes about 60% of the revenue of every single barrel of oil, and because of natural gas uh, produced, and the country is stinking rich, and that is of revenue, not of profit. Multiplayer, hater agreed when did norway do this right norway did this i believe in the 1960s they created a fund and they have the largest fund uh, a fund that controls it's the biggest fund in the world that has money in all the stock markets in the world and stuff like this right huge 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 and they pay dividends to the norwegians to live their lives all that, all that jazz sure but they did this in the 1960s in norway in europe iran did it in 1950s and the CIA did a coup against Iran, put a Shah dictator in power. Did the CIA do the same thing in Norway? I don't know. I don't know Norwegian history, but as far as I know, they didn't, right? So just imagine, just imagine if the CIA was not running coups left and right, destroying right, countries and tens of hundreds of millions of lives, right? Is Norway under sanctions? No. Venezuela, Iran under sanctions right like for sure if norway does this why doesn't canada do this why hasn't canada nationalized the oil you talk about nationalization of oil in canada and people freak the f out right why because they got their <laughs> i want to use harsh words but I, I don't want to use harsh words because i don't want to trash talk people right but because they got people have attached their lives to these corporations that don't give a rat's ass about them and they're so lost in their own stupidity right that they think this is the this is the way to be 
right? It's absurd. UBI will be corporate uh, advertised propaganda if it's rolled out. I agree with always be making 100%, right? Uh, I went all the way down again. What do you mean nationalized oil? What does that mean? It means whatever oil is being produced in the country, the majority, lion's share of the revenue goes to the country, right? It might be in collaboration with private organizations, right? But they don't control it all, okay? It means the country controls its resources, which is what should be, right? Countries should control their own resources, not corporations, okay? There's nice discussions taking place. Good. I'm sort of skipping the discussions a little bit, gang. There are people talking between. And by the way, thank you for writing someone's name. That means you guys are taking, you know, talking to each other. So people know where to go, what to read. So it's fantastic. Uh, Silk, if world powers such as the USA or Russia wouldn't get rid of their nuclear weapons, won't get rid of their nuclear weapons, why should not Iran develop a nuclear weapon or any other Middle Eastern country? Israel has one too. Israel developed the, their secretly, and by the time the world figured it out, or the world came out and said, yeah, they do, they, they already had like 300 nuclear weapons of 100 or 50, whatever it was, right? 50 or 100 nuclear weapons. Right now, I think they're sitting at 300. Last time I checked, which was like 15, 20 years ago, right? So they already had, already had an arsenal, so you can't really do anything with that, right? Any country right now that comes up and develops one nuclear weapon, right? Uh, they're going to be in danger. North Korea was able to do it because they showed that they didn't have one. They had multiple, right? I personally don't want in other countries to have nuclear weapons, to tell you the truth. I don't. I don't want countries, every country to have a nuclear weapon. We know how stupid majority not self-centered majority leaders in the world are so i rather they not have the fingers on the button right however we have a problem right now the nuclear powers are pushing everybody else around so once they're doing that it means people are going to be backed into a corner and they're going to have to protect themselves right so it's i don't know if i'm even answering this correctly but um why shouldn't they because if they do they're going to get pounced on hard are they going to get pounced on as hard as they are now as far as iran's concerned man the road that the west europe being the european man if i wasn't living in a european country i i would be disgusted with all the governments in power right because there was an opportunity there to have peace genuine legit peace in the middle east and they blew that right they blew it because the united states their masters told them and influence from other parts of the world told the europeans hey you're not free you can't do this you have to abide by u.s sanctions they had a peace deal treaty with iran they nagged on it what a f up what a f up right that was a bigger f up than destroying libya that's one of the biggest biggest horrendous things the eu has done that's one of the main reasons eu should be flushed down the toilet european union has to be dis dismantled right countries have to be able to decide their own future for the best uh for the well-being of their own citizens not be governed by centralized power that is completely controlled by technocrats and oligarchs okay what a mess up right ding bobber coolio chicho i've heard of a cia uh, interrogation procedure which involves agents speaking to prisoners and uh, in a design way uh, that sends them into madness where reality falls apart only to uh, coerce them into giving up bah, 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 bah. Uh, they send them to madness so that the slightest bit of normal seems to be safe uh, just sick 
that there has been funding for that. They've been doing this for a long time. Look at the uh, the experiments they conducted, the CIA conducted with LSD, right? Lord, Chicho, I'm kind of curious what your opinion is on Putin or just your general feeling of the guy and his actions. I think Putin has is when when the history books are written and they are being written right now when 50 years from now 100 years from now people look back on this period they will consider putin to be one of the one of the most important one of the greatest leaders in human history including putin's time and pre-putin okay putin is one of the most insanely mad intelligent leaders the world has ever seen he is diplomatic i know a lot of people are going to get burned on this right because a lot of people have been propaganda propaganda is where russia gay russia gay russia gay russia gay putin bad putin bad but all this stuff you take what the what the what russia was in the 1990s when russia iron curtain fell down and russia was governed by wall street it was decimated for a decade right under Yeltsin it was destroyed people were selling their underwear on the streets to raise money to buy food for the day so they wouldn't starve right people were chopping down telephone poles in the winter to because there was no electricity no nothing so they could stay warm right 10 years of that Putin came into power and within 10 years Russia became a major superpower again not in terms of military but in terms of economy they put major sanctions on russia and russia became independent the sanctions were one of the greatest things to happen to russia because russia became independent food energy resources technology um, infrastructure built right to sustain russia okay brilliant 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 i don't know putin personally but what he has done for russia if I was a Russian, I'd be proud of what was accomplished. Okay. That's why his approval rating was through the roof. Really, through the roof. Right? Meanwhile, I talk to Americans, they go, Putin's a dictator. I go, You guys are idiots. Okay. You guys are idiots. Okay. You guys have no idea what Russia was in the 90s and what Putin has done in terms of life, uh, living standard for the average Russian compared to 20 years ago okay civil israel nuclear program started with french supporting if i am not mistaken i don't know but yeah it doesn't interest me anymore the israel israeli nuclear program and stuff like this uh, i want to i want to i'm more concerned about what's going on on macro level where where we're headed because we are in major changes coming through right what's your opinion on the two evils that america has to vote for i wouldn't vote for any of them from what i heard jesse ventura is going to be uh is talking to the greens to see if they're okay with jesse ventura running as a green candidate i'd vote for jesse ventura if he ran okay i would not vote for biden i would not for, for vote for trump not in a million years man i'm not chicho huckleberry I'm not Chicho, but I can say that this is the first election I'll be able to vote in, and I'm seriously considering voting for Trump, voting Green Party out of protest, even though, uh, even though I'm a Democrat socialist in the pursuit of accelerationism. Yeah, I, I would never vote for Biden. That's that's a no-no, right? And I wouldn't vote vote for Trump, even though he's done some of the things he promised people to do, some of the major stuff he's effed off on. He he handed over u.s foreign policy to the neocons again right neocons govern u.s foreign policy I'll, i've said this i don't know how many times on these live streams look if you live in the united states of america okay please pay attention what will decide the fate of the united states is not u.s domestic policy but u.s foreign policy what will make or break the United States of America is not U.S. domestic policy, it's U.S. foreign policy. Fix U.S. foreign policy, you fix the majority of problems within the United States. And the United States can become another major wave 
of major superpower that is looked upon as a bastion of goodness right fix u.s foreign policy you will fix the majority of problems within the united states domestically ridiculously important trump is a puppet period okay period okay he cut a deal with certain movements in the united states that sold the general american citizen okay the average american citizen down the river men who stare at goats yeah uh coolio chicho do you admire putin though i don't have an issue with his leadership from an economic standpoint but his warmongering seems just as iffy as some of the u.s leaders and i think he's just as influenced by oil uh, i don't admire putin i consider him what he has done for russia to be huge on a grand scale right like huge huge right is he as much of a warmonger as u.s foreign policy no not even close not even close look man the world if we're going to continue on the putin thing the world owes putin a debt of gratitude it was russia that prevented the black flag of isis flying over damascus just imagine what the world would be like right now if isis controlled syria or have people even thought about this because saudi arabia israel and the united states as well as european countries were funding and uae were funding and supporting isis to overthrow assad in syria just imagine what would have happened if that had happened putin iran syria and russia these three countries right with the support of the syrian people because this wouldn't have never happened right syria would not be standing right now if they didn't have the help the support of the syrian people okay people sacrifice their lives everything to prevent the black flag of isis flying over syria the world owes a debt of gratitude to putin okay to russia to syria and to iran i don't think people really appreciate what they prevented any of you that actually have been propagand propagandized to a level that you think Dick putin is a dictator putin bad assad bad iran bad all bad no good they've done no good in the evaluate your sources reevaluate your sources of information you have been propagandized you have been brainwashed your noise are you noise are you noise or do you see the big picture do you see it do you see it i hope so i seriously hope so lord chicho i absolutely hate it when people picture putin as a villain like he saved an entire population of uh, of absolutely going that yeah lord it's unbelievable to me it really blows my mind and then they praise clinton oh man that's the state we're in right now in terms of dialogue right multiplayer you are making bold claims without knowing your audience um <laughs> who's my audience my audience is other human beings we're sharing information multiply i hate that right bold claims dude i know what's been taking place i've been writing about it for 15 years right i'm gonna scroll down gang i'm gonna scroll down why does the usa eu want assad out of syria pipelines has a lot to do with it here let me give you a link to an article that i wrote back in 2008 maybe here let me give you an article Doop. let's go to syria 
Syria or Iran? One, two, let's not forget an attack on Iran. Well, there's two of them. I've written a few, a fair bit of these. Iran. Here, I'll give you this. Now, this I wrote 2013. It's a rewrite, I believe, of something I wrote in 2009 or something, right? And the title of this article, let me give you the link. Okay. This is one of the reasons. Oh man, there's a lot of chicho there. I gotta read it. I called this thing Target, and this is 2013. Target is still Iran, clean, clear cutting the Middle East and the coming bloodbath, mapping World War III. And the different titles I had on this was this Introduction, All the World Stage. These are subsections, right? Introduction, All the World Stage, Controlling Resources in the Middle East, Iraq, Iran, Syria, Pipeline, Saudi Arabia and Qatar, and the South Pars gas field, the Shiite Crescent and the Levant, Israel and Turkey and supplying Europe with energy, afterthoughts, references. Take a look at this thing. Okay. Multiply Ahera. You need to read that, right? And Sleepy Waves, that'll give you a start okay huckleberry russia has defeated two of the greatest threats to human decency and freedom the nazis in world war ii and isis more recently and the world chooses to ignore it huckleberry i couldn't agree with you more right people people think that world war ii was decided in normandy are you people the word we can't say on twitch right 80 plus percent of the resources of the fascist in europe was spent against russia right the eastern front decided world war ii not normandy right it helped but not on that level multiplayer head uh, what you got saying eh? have you no clue what islam was like in uh caucasus before russia invaded it dude we're not going there right busy freeman can you explain what a neocon is and what their agenda is with foreign policy? Is John Bolton in, John Bolton is a neocon, right? John Bolton is a neocon, and neocons um, basically came out with. Uh, it was pre uh, pre this book, but uh, this book really uh, set the stage for it, which was uh, the Grand Chessboard by Brzezinski, right? And his thesis was that. Uh, he was a major neocon, but his thesis was whoever controls Eurasia controls the world, right? That was one of the reasons Afghanistan happened and stuff like this with Unical and all that jazz, right? But the neocons basically have the have the belief that force uh, will govern the world and the United States will police man of the world and any country that does not bend to the will of the neoconservative agenda will be destroyed. The neoliberals... On the flip side don't believe so much on the military now they're merging now they're together really right but the way they started the new liberals were on the agenda of oh yeah privatize everything give it to the hands of the corporations and they'll everything will be fine and dandy as we saw in chile it didn't happen right so chile is neocon neoconservatives that's who they are but bolton is a neocon hardcore nikki preach brother Sybil, the USA broke the Chicho. The USA broke the nuclear nuclear balance agreement between USA and Russia by developing space anti-ballistic missiles. This is very long time ago. Russia responded by developing multi-head nuclear weapons, and recently China and Russia achieved hypersonic missiles that uh, can carry nuclear heads, which can't be uh, countered by any by anything. Basically, do you think we are in a cold war? Yeah. And it's becoming a hot war, right? It's proxy wars, really. Cold war that will eventually result in in a third world war, or is this maybe just how military military natural develops? No, I don't think this is how military natural develops. This whole thing with the nuclear arms treaties and stuff like this, uh, Bush Jr. started it. Okay, he he refused to sign a couple of treaties that were coming due, so they didn't sign. They didn't sign. Obama continued it. Obama didn't sign. Didn't sign, and he took uh was it one trillion dollars to upgrade uh us's nuclear arsenal to make it more tactical nuclear right? and then trump followed up the democrats and the republicans have been playing this game from the get-go they're one party they're the same party that the neoconservative the foreign policy stays the same no matter under democrat or republican right that's one reason uh sanders was garbage as well in large part he supported the coup and um 
in uh, Venezuela, the attempted coup in Venezuela, right? He he was all pro Russia Gate, Russia Gate, Russia Gate bad. It's like Bernie, come on, man, nobody believes that crap, right? The only people that believe that crap are propagandized people, right? So th there's a lot there, but yeah, the United States kickstarted the nuclear nuclear arms race again unfortunately unfortunately we had the opportunity to go down a different road we really did we really did but the neocons and the neoliberals joined hands and they kicked us on to another nuclear age which is very dangerous do you speak russian no multiplayer hater i've never been to russia okay i am not russian i am not saying these things because i def you know how many days have you spent in Russia? I haven't spent any days in Russia. However, my grandfather was born in Russia. He spoke Russian. Okay. So, but to me, we're all human beings, right? You call BS where BS exists. You give credit where credit exists. Okay. This isn't about me. This is about what has transpired, right? And by the way, here, you want an article of when this thing really kicked up with Russia? I'll give you an article. Here's an article on my site. Let's check it out. Is it on this one or the previous one I wrote? Oh, Ukraine. No, not Ukraine. I want Georgia. Do I have Russia? Do, oh, do I have... Oh, where did I put it? Okay, I got to do a search. Uh, Russian bear. Oh, I think it's on my other site. Russian bear oh it's not on here it's on a previous site oh it's not here i wrote an article many moons ago okay let me okay hold on i'm gonna i'm gonna do a little search because multiplayer hater thinks that this is this is uh where should we go where should we go let's go here uh, da -da 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 -doink. let's go here let's go here take me to the right place here okay come on come on archive i'm going to archive.org by the way that's my previous site i'm going to find you something oh come on be here oh there it is sweet sweet come on be there be there be there be there be there archive.org please have it don't kick it into somewhere else oh sweetness check this out let me tell you when i wrote this article first right ba -ba 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 -bam. nice night look at all the references 2009 and this is it this is this is an article of an update of what the future holds it's much worse than your worst nightmare okay part four was updated in 2009 main piece was last updated in 2008 unfortunately the the article that this refers to what the future holds is much worse than your worst nightmare it wasn't here here's an article i called it world war three expands into europe and awakens the russian bear the next stage in the resource wars right and this was mainly pointing out that what happened in georgia you remember georgia multiplayer hitter do you remember georgia oh what a big mistake the neocons made in georgia what a big mistake they awakened the russian bear don't f with the russian bear they came out and man oh man Oh man, oh man, we get players like multiplayer Hera and Russiagate, Russiagate, Russiagate. You shouldn't have wakened the Russian bear, right? That's that's all I got to say. Chicho spits facts, and when he is saying so, when he's saying an opinion, he makes sure he is stating an opinion very different than the Western media school. It's natural; some people will be irritated. One hundred percent. I piss off a lot of people, man. Especially when we talk politics and economics. Too bad for them, right? Thanks for your work. My pleasure, Mikael Smith. What word can you not say on Twitch? what's it rhyme with 
what's it rhyme with anybody got that i don't know bernie you can't it's a legit word bernie was still an imperialist but he was our best hope at deglobalizing our military huckleberry possibly but some of the crap that he put out he praised bush uh, bush senior when he died what a great president we had bush senior highway of death do you guys know what the highway of death is okay type in iraq highway of death one of the most horrendous war crimes you'll ever read about with the iraqi military in retreat for miles upon miles upon miles and the united states still had a lot of bombs to drop right because the corporations in the united states the military industrial complex needed the money right to make more bombs they had to write stuff off huh? they bombarded a retreating army and killed tens of thousands of people that were unarmed burned them to death right horrendous horrendous coolio chicho in your mind do you think there is a better economic system and if so what would it look like uh, will we ever get there it, for sure there's a better economic system right and there's different models we should take the best part of every economic system and bring them together right we should um yeah it's a deep topic brother um i'll have to lay it out right decentralization is one okay I, on the extreme side on the not extreme but in, in where we should be heading is the population controls their resources and the 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 control mechanism the driving force should be watersheds right so i think though our world the way countries are divided out is in an imperialist model right so i think we should make sure that people that live in a watershed to control water being the main resource of a of a nation of a people you don't have water you're done for right the people that control that um live in an area that the watershed is in right that the water is sustainable in. they should can decide their own futures right and then you would have trade going on barter going on negotiations going on and stuff like this right i thought your family was from iran i am i am i was born in iran my parents were born in iran but my grandfather was from ussr but they left when communism came in okay we're all migrants by the way sleepy waves we're all migrants from somewhere really how, how many generations do you have to go back to go oh everybody's a migrant right do we draw the line and say oh if you're sixth generation you're a legit person and or after the sixth generation if you're five generations you're not legit now oh is it two generate three generations do you have to be born there do you have to go we're all migrants <laughs> what well, is one of these things maybe a russian plant who knows maybe oh this is clearly i love you think about use archive dot dot org okay i'm gonna scroll down i just went to by the way thing i just went to one of the articles i know that links to an archive page which is active and i try to find some of the articles that i wrote previously that are active on that right much worse than your worst nightmare sounds pleasant yeah and coolio and where are we right now i wrote that article check this out i wrote that article the what the future holds is much worse than your worst nightmare it was probably 2008 or 2007 right which people say oh no one could see some of these things coming i wrote about some of these things coming right busy freeman chicho quote the smart way to keep people passive and obedient is to strictly limit the spectrum of acceptable opinion but allow very lively debate within that spectrum even encourage the more critical and dis uh, dissident views that gives the people the sense that there's free thinking going on while all the time the uh, presupposition of the systems are being reinforced by the limits put on the range of debate end quote noam chomsky All right thank you for that uh dizzy freeman or busy freeman busy freeman busy freeman 
I'm scrolling down, gang. Multiplayer, I hate it. No offense, but you are mono blob. Glob. I don't know what that is. You can only access very limited. Oh, really? <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Multiplayer, I hate it. <laughs> if you're a troll, you're a, you're a, you're a good troll. You're not a you're not a what do you call it? Uh, you're not a weak troll. You're a good troll. But you got a lot of info that. It was weighing me down, man. I needed to share that stuff out. Boom, boom, boom. Let it out, let it out. So it's good. Thanks for that, by the way. That's why I like intelligent trolls. I don't like weak trolls. Weak trolls are just boring, really. Scrolling down, scrolling down. It's no wonder we pray for a Messiah, Savior, New Earth, etc. The state of the world is hard to process. Hope we hope is such a virtue. Sybil. Chicho, Uncle Sam is uh, effing with a red dragon and huge bear <laughs> yeah really he is pushing his luck um, of course i hope peace happens by the way the karyologue uh responsible for the bush's family got killed after barbara bush died uh by four months by the way the killer of the doctor commands <laughs> it's, yeah it's sort of a domino effect you don't even want to be involved with their crap uh, Coolio Chicho, I agree with you for the most part on decentralization, but aren't there certain areas of system that should be centralized? Uh, Coolio, yeah, decentralization doesn't mean completely cut yourself off of everybody, right? There should be some form of trade system, currency, if you want to call it, that globally we can use, right? And all those people that do. Uh, you know, follow the conspiracy thing that go, oh, Gijo is believing global. No, right, right? Like, it's not. We need some kind of maybe a platform where you can do the trade. Maybe it's a crypto like Tither, right? Tither is a crypto that is one dollar, right? It's used, if I'm not mistaken, it's used to trade other cryptos. So we should set up some kind of platform like that where everybody with their own currency and not a swift system where the United States controls it or whatever, right? No, because it, the deal was made that the United States would not use a dollar as a weapon, but it is now, right? So the name of the game has changed. So the, the US dollar is being used as a weapon, right? So there has to be a platform where multiple different types of currencies can be traded right within that system with being completely decentralized automated system right maintained but not controlled right so for sure there are certain things we we need to collaborate on to be able to do for us to go into space people in a watershed cannot do it solo so you have to talk to other people and do it uh, it's amicably like in a way that it agrees with people that doesn't make certain watersheds be sacrifice zones as chris hedges would put it up right these these people over here that have a lot of power cannot say we want this so we're going to go over here that the resources are under and these people want to just just chill the f out right they, they don't they don't you know they want to go slow but these people over here say no we want that you're sitting on our oil, our, on our tungsten, right? On our resources. If the world were to completely decentralize, wouldn't certain places be left to fend for themselves? Yeah, I hope that answered your question, Coolio. It's, it's, called, bar, it's called bartering, trading, develop a, a, a fair, equitable economic system where everybody has the right to conduct commerce with everybody else right without giving monopoly powers to certain people or institutions or organizations decentralization doesn't mean we cut ourselves off from everyone it means we actually open up because we have to collaborate right i actually thought you were interested in fact but dude i am but you haven't provided any facts have you, by the way, multiplayer hater, do you have a blog? Do you have stuff you share? You you write? Do you create videos? Do, do you have stuff linked up? I started, when I started blogging, one of the reasons I started blogging and sharing this information because I was talking to people like you and they're like, oh, you don't know, you don't know this, you don't, I went, dude, 
I'm starting to get pissed, right? Because I was talking with people that really, it was like trying to teach math, trying to teach y equals mx plus b to someone that didn't know what two plus two was, right? So I went, okay. So during these discussions, I started blogging. So I started referencing my articles. I learned how to do HTML, right? So I could link things up, articles, articles. And then once I got into discussions in bars and clubs or wherever we were social events with people, they start going, oh, Russia bad, Russia bad, or this bad, this bad. I would say, uh, be quiet. Uh, here's what's going on. They go, oh, how, how do you know? You don't know this. I go, oh, here's my website. Here's this article. Go read it. You're not intelligent enough for me to have a discussion with you. Okay. Oh, multiplayer hater, the, the, the code. Then what does this mean? Uh, think most people would argue that Chicho is the exact opposite of a. I don't. I don't even know what that means, man. Multiplayer hater. I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop reading your comments because it's getting boring. Uh, so you're saying defense is not needed? Uh, no, I'm not saying that busy freeman i believe this is what i believe right i believe we all have to be physically fit i believe we all have to be strong enough to defend ourselves physically we also have to be uh, educated enough to be able to defend ourselves from any external forces that are trying to destroy our communities okay if that means being armed be armed right Throughout history, humanity has protected themselves from external forces, right? By defending themselves with whatever it was that they needed to defend themselves with, right? I don't believe in waging war on any nation or any people, but I believe in self-defense. I'm a non-violent person. I don't get into fights, but I can defend myself, right? casual banter chicho can you expand upon issues with trump um in what way single player <laughs> this is super chicho multiplayer hater should go play single player yeah. yeah maybe he's legit i don't know hopefully he reads the two articles i i posted really managol lot a person who speaks only one language i uh, know <laughs> thanks for that uh, michael uh, i i would read his art his comment again just to put it into context but yeah i definitely don't uh, i'm not a one uh, one perspective person that's for sure being armed is cool i highly recommend it huckleberry don't start fights but be able to finish them yeah utah jazz well put and man i can honestly tell you it there there's a saying i, I don't know if it was from the godfather or not uh stupid friends are more dangerous than intelligent enemies because stupid friends will get you in trouble while intelligent enemies if you're wise enough will know that you're wise right so they won't mess with you right goes on every front right jermaine chicho how do you educate yourself more on politics obviously research but where specifically uh jermaine i have um if you do a search chicho news sources there's a video i put out i put out three videos over three years or something like this sharing my sources of info right there's a video there i have i'm sitting actually right in front of the fireplace and i'm actually wearing the same t-shirt or same shirt chicho sources of news i'm pretty sure i'm wearing this thing again okay and i share some of my sources of info now i've dropped some of those they i've followed them far enough i went okay i got enough i got the right perspective on things and some of this propaganda some of i don't agree with so i've dropped some and i've amplified some i would say if you want to start off uh jermaine if you want to get some sources of info some new sources go to our discord page okay and i'm sharing news articles videos lectures that i'm watching most of the stuff that i'm sharing i've either read watched or listened to right 
most of it so let's say 80 percent of the stuff i'm sharing is that 20 percent is me either finding it interesting or i'm noting it i just want to note it or whatever it is right but i'm basically archiving the news and this is cream of the crop by the way i'm going through a lot more than i'm sharing on our discord page but i'm trying to put a filter on myself and share all you know the really good content right the meat of it on our discord page and we have a politics section we have an economic section we have a COVID section we have these multiple folders follow join the discord page and there's a other people sharing some amazing info as well right go to our discord page and you can find some amazing dialogue taking place there that's what i would recommend like a coolio chicho uh see that's what happens when youtube removes your info sources video people assume you're a one trick pony yeah like if people watch the previous info the last info video put out i had people from the left and the right extreme left and extreme right and the center and different spectrum in between and people who don't even f operate on that spectrum they got a higher perspective and they're looking at it from a larger point of view that it's not all oh, it's not a line it's not a it's three to four dimensional right those are things that i follow right you have to see the whole thing busy freeman because everybody's by the way because everybody's got a legitimate concern it's just we have to figure out what the concern is right have you heard of what have i heard of Oop. oh chat kicked me up all the way up chat oh bad chat okay i'm gonna scroll all the way down gang chat kicked me up so high that um <laughs> Nikki, Nikki, I'm just reading that. You should have Samurai Shampoo intro song playing in the background as you start up stream. Nice, fun. The problem with that is if I have that playing, then I can't upload the videos on YouTube. Or if I do, it gets hit with a copyright claim, right? Like Nujabaz, I shared Nujabaz, one of the tracks on Samurai Shampoo, with my first beard video back in 2008 or nine or seven, right? I played Nujabaz and I shaved, right? for 10 years uh that video was running without copyright being hit on it right but then it got hit with a copyright notice uh way after right unfortunately i think it was because nujabas passed away uh his library got passed on to a large corporation and they put copyrights on it right opinion on ahmad jinajad if any mm, i don't really uh silk i don't really have an opinion on him so awesome let's really catch up the chat okay i'm i'm all the way down gang yeah the beer video that song was good yeah oh yeah by the way and the the other one of the other beard videos i made i had a full beard and i shaved into this goatee and because i had been hit with the copyright claim on nujabaz i was gonna do that with nujabaz again but i didn't want to get hit with the copyright claim because i didn't know what youtube was going to do at the time right so i cut that track with uh, i was gonna cut that track with shingo's uh lovesick by the way nujabaz uh, with uh shingo 2 uh rapping with nujabaz uh this track uh lovesick lovesick one i believe uh, i was gonna cut it with but because i got hit with a copyright claim i cut it to um i forget who the person is and then that got hit with copyright claim it's like oh dude that's why i stopped sharing uh doing any videos with music in the background because getting hit with copyright claims even though video could be two hours long you have four second or four minute or 30 second clip in there of a song the whole two hours of your work is copyrighted you know credit given to someone else because it has copyright on it crazy right labor corporations monopolies coercing people's labor right it's crazy oh damn i didn't know uh that about new Japan's music about the copyright stuff or uh did you hear coolio 
Chicho, did you hear about the guys who are making an AI algorithm to produce every conceivable combination of notes, chords in order to protect all artists from copyright? I haven't heard about that. That would be gargantuan, right? But they should. It's like copywriting sentences at some point or phrases. At some point, you run out of phrases, right? That makes sense anyway. So this copyright crap stuff going on, Creative Commons is where it's at, right? But there's a streamer on YouTube that, that play music through hours and hours of streaming. Kind of recently I noticed this. <laughs> and kind of popular music. Nikki Aki, nice. These uh, cover, yeah. And uh, on Twitch, you can actually uh, stream music and while it's happening live, it's allowed. But the recorded version uh, zaps out the sections that are copyrighted. From what I understand from the DJ friends that they tried live streaming on Facebook, but Facebook was killing the streams right away, right? Unless they were big boys, they were killing the streams right away. So that's why uh, Twitch is becoming more active, I think, with live streaming music and whatnot, right? Which is great. And since the one we did the, here, didn't get zapped by any copyright parts in Twitch. I'm assuming it's safe to upload to YouTube for now. Anyway, we'll see where it goes. You know, that's a cool song choice for a high, highlight vid. Often smaller streamers can get away with it, but sooner or later, copyright claims all, almost always catch up to them. Yeah. Yeah, and that's what happens, right? We'll see. Oh wow, we're almost into two hours. What the? That's crazy. Oh, we're up almost up to two hours, gang. Damn, the stream cut out for me. But okay, I get you. You might be able to play the music on Twitch, but uploading on another platform might be a no-no. Yeah, that's the kicker, right? Stream cut out for me too. Oh no, are we still streaming? Oh, it shows me buffering. Oh, we're buffering. I don't know if we're still going or not. Are we still going? Oh, it looks like we're still going. We might have been, uh, the video might be uh, cut, right? Good stream so far. Good stream so far. Rest in peace. Oh no, we lost the stream. Okay, gang, let's call the stream. I'm gonna do my the ending uh, part when I show you guys my Patreon and stuff. Um, the Russian bots are invading. I I don't think the Russian bots is the one. I don't think maybe multiplayer hit and didn't like it, and we got some action going on. Game over, man. That's it. We're done. Okay, gang. Yeah, thank you for the conversations. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the discussions. Thank you for the dot uh, thoughts. Uh, if you like to follow our work, Patreon is the great place to be. Okay, if you can support this work, supporting this work through Patreon is a fantastic way to support this work. You can follow and get notices of what we're uploading and sharing. We're live streaming this on Twitch just in case the stream didn't get cut. I should have been recording, but I didn't. Right? We're live streaming this on Twitch. If you want to follow the chat, get participate in discussion and uh and have dialogue twitch is where you want to be at and by following and subscribing is also a great way to support this work and for those of you who follow and subscribe thank you very much for the follow and subscribe gang okay i am announcing these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on twitter gabs minds vk and Allo, and i do share other content on that plat on those platforms as well we are uploading this to YouTube and BitChute as much as we can on both platforms. Technical issues aside and censorship uh, permitting, okay? And even though the lockdowns, quarantines are being removed, be aware of what's taken place and that things can happen again. Uh, things are cyclic and make sure you're not overwhelming your healthcare systems, okay? because uh, you want them to be functional if you need their help aside from that gang but still i would have i would have stayed damn it cut out lots oh unfortunate okay gang we talk later
okay i'll announce the next set of streams um probably in a couple of days okay expect the, expect another round to come up maybe a fiver four three maybe a ten okay bye everyone mods thank you for taking care of business bye everyone